Welcome to episode 32 of the Frazzle Report. Today is Friday, March 30th, 2018. With the release of Warcraft Chronicle Volume 3 on March 27th, which is also my birthday, some users have found some things hidden in the text. Some enterprising users have found that if you invert the pages using a Janisco model R460 JZ copier from the 1990s, later Janisco models in the 2000s don't copy in the same fashion, it has to be copiers from the 1990s. The copiers are running software made by the company Inatech, which went bankrupt after their headquarters burnt down after Milton Wadhams wanted their red swing line stapler back. The users in a Treadit gram thread decided to invert the pages after copying them using the copiers. The inversion allows text to be read in the margins. They have found out that the world of Overwatch is actually modern-day Azeroth. Tracer is a descendant of Jaina, Bastion is a modern-day Blingtron, but they don't drop legendaries. This has led some to speculate on when the Burning Crusade will return in Overwatch. This raises a lot of questions. It even makes some wonder if Overwatch is part of the Pixar universe, because in Chronicle Volume 2, the name Mike, Sully, Coco, Lightning McQueen, and more are found if you invert the pages a third time back through the fax machines made by Cyberdyne Systems. We will find out when they release more volumes of the Warcraft Chronicle. These theories, of course, also bring many users wondering if the scans of the supposedly copied pages are photoshopped. We couldn't get a hold of the originals of the scans. We at the Frazzle Report called the bluff on these scans. We know the truth. Azeroth is actually part of the Matrix. We are just a computer simulation born to be energy for machines. Be warned. There will be one good movie later on called The Matrix, and then two mediocre movies as well as a horrible game called Enter the Matrix. This has been the Frazzle Report. I am Frazzly Sparksman. You can find this show at frazzlereport.com. Until next week, be awesome. Oh, before I go, I wanted to thank some people for the reviews of the show. Thank you to Wild Dominator 5789 for their five star review in Apple Podcasts. They said, awesome. Love this little podcast. This should be all over WoW. Blizzard, I'm talking to you too. Keep up the great work, Frasley. Thumbs up emoji. A Jellos wrote a five-star review in Apple Podcasts, and they wrote, Frasley does an awesome job bringing you the weekly WoW news. This is my one-stop shop for WoW news in a quick, easy-to-digest format. Thank you both for your words of encouragement as we try to bring real news to World of Warcraft. We bring the hard-hitting facts that no one else is willing to cover. The Frasley Report is a fan podcast that covers Blizzard games. We are not affiliated with Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. Views expressed by the host and guests are their own. Some of the art, music, and sound effects come from Blizzard games and are owned by Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. No copyright infringement is intended. Want more awesomeness every week? Visit weeklyawesome.com weekly podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome.